there boys and girls, Mickey D from Motorhead, you're watching Blank TV, this is uh, very very scary music for scary people, dangerous as hell, so stay tuned. There is a big difference between different countries with the crowds and, and especially European festivals and like North American festivals. Yeah, that is a big difference. Yeah. I mean, it's not too many over here. And I don't think uh, North Americans are really used to it. Over in Europe, it's been going on forever. So it's, it's more of a custom. Routine. I mean, there's so many festivals, but hopefully it can uh, you know, start bring over it, here. Bring it over here, yeah. There's definitely less uh, like week week long camping festivals. There's a couple of these sort of couple day ones, but definitely yeah, but less. The thing here is you, you ain't allowed to do anything. You can't. You know, it's it's too many rules. That's what's going to shut down the festivals. There's too many rules and regulations. That's the problem. You can't really camp anywhere, you know, the, I don't think you get the, the, the permissions to, to have these festivals. And uh, do you, I mean, playing smaller venues, more intimate shows, do you have a preference from, from big festivals? Well, you know, it all takes, after you've done smaller venues, you kind of want to get up on the bigger venues, vice versa. It, you, you like going uh, back to the smaller venues sometimes too? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. More yeah, we don't do too too many small ones. I, I don't know what you mean. More, more intimate. Well, I, um, What's it? This is intimate. Um, well, more venues as opposed to festivals. I mean, clubs. festival. Yeah, clubs. No, it's not too many clubs anymore because uh, it's not that we're too big for clubs, but it's that we can't fit. Too many we can't fit. Yeah, and we can't fit. We have too much stuff. So we did a club, um, I mean the funniest thing I think was in Banff. Banff? Yeah. Here? Yeah, 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 West Coast. And uh, I don't remember what the venue was called, but it's like a little ski cabin. After they loaded in our gear, I mean, I remember talking to the promoter and he said, yeah, I think we sold 1,600 tickets or 1,200 tickets. And uh, I go, where are you going to get this? Where are they going to be? Outside? Because there was a little square in the middle of the you know, dance floor where you could maybe fit 20, 30 people. That, that's what was left out of the whole club. And uh, how did it go? Well, when, when people started coming in? Chaotic. You know, and, and it's that's unnecessary. Risks you yeah, take, you yeah. know, it's, it's not right for the fans at all. They expect a good show, and that's almost scary. That's dangerous. No, we we can't do this anymore. And you guys are heading to Spain after this? Uh, yeah, Judas Priest, us, and Saxon for a couple of shows. Four, I think. So. Yeah, yeah, it's good friends. And that's a good build. Yeah. Hard British. I'm talking to you guys here in Montreal. This is really crazy, you know. So, uh, we try. Yeah, but this is one of the better, better shows you can do on this side of the pond, you know, the city. So good to hear you say that. It's oh, good. absolutely. I'm not kissing your ass. It's really true. Every time we come around here, it's if there's anywhere they go, absolutely mental. It's here. So. And have you had poutine since you've been in Montreal? What? Poutine. Yeah, I just had it actually. Yeah. So, so, it's too hot to burn my yeah. face.